Namaskar, Namaste, hello. Starting uh, 1144 session, bringing it to the page. Yogi. Hello, Namaskar, Namaste, Satnam, Naho, blessings to us all. So this session will be some chakra yoga. So if you're not in a place that you can move your body, you may want to take some minutes to set yourself up to be in a space that you can do a yoga practice. We'll also do some music and singing bowl and chakra sound attunements. Doki starting up uh, the YouTube stream. Wonderful. Okay, so we are live in various places. Welcome to Chakra Yoga. Blessed be. I invite you to set your intentions for energies that you need to release or clear, or energies that you are inviting a, an alignment with or manifesting at this time. Anything that you've been noticing has been coming up emotionally, physically, mentally as we're coming into the full moon cycle. And this, this full moon is also in between the numerological portals of the 12, 12, 21 and the coming 12, 21, 21 uh, with the solstice. And so at this time, a lot of emotions are rising and the light is working on finding its way into our system of shadows. So whatever we are holding within us in the, in the shadow realms of our being is being asked to be uplifted, removed, cleared. And one very powerful and ancient way to work on that clearing and balancing is to do chakra work or chakra yoga and work with your work with your chakras. So. <clears throat> As we come into this session, we'll be working with the chakras, with our sound, with our own mantra, with our own voices, and we'll also be working on the chakras with our movements. So we'll start with a little bit of calling in the Great Spirit to smudge and clear away any energies that come up for any of us in our healing spaces, wherever we are in the world. And um, hello, I'm just letting you know this is a yoga practice. So if you are not set up to move, we're going to be moving. We'll get up and do some chakra yoga. So if you need to take a moment to set up a space, make sure that you're in a space where you can move and do some uh, yoga. And we'll get into that in a, about 10 minutes or so after a bit of sound healing for the chakras. So as we smudge and clear the space and call in the energies, you can set up your own space for movement and invite your guides, your angels, your higher power, the beings of light calling to you at this time to unite with your energy system to protect you and bring healing into your space and into your 
energy, energy body into the wheels of light that make up your system of energy. And start to tune in with your breaths, with the 12 cleansing inhales and releasing sighs. Inhaling through the nose, out the mouth. down to your third eye, breathing out all the waste, all the apana or dukkha in the body, inhaling light and clearing everything else as a purple light starts to circulate in the hands and a sphere of purple light opens at the third eye at the brow point. Take a deep inhale, uniting the thumbs and the pinkies, opening the other three fingers into a Padma Mudra. Breathe out with a sigh, <sighs> activating your throat chakra, warming up the throat. Inhale the arms up, the Padma Mudra up into the crown chakra. Big ha <sighs> breath out, ha. <sighs> Inhale and let out an OM. Aum. And bring the palms together at the end of the OM and thumbs to your third eye again. Inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers, bring the hands to float in front of your throat. Envision blue light and the sound is hum. Inhale. Hum. Deep inhale. Big sigh. Hum. 
unite the thumbs, crossing your thumbs, spreading the rest of your fingers wide, coming into a Garuda Mudra. Place that Garuda Mudra or Moksha Mudra upon the heart center and the sound is Yam. Inhale. Yum. Two more for the heart as all energy radiates from the heart center. Yum. Yum. Deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> Finding a G uh, Ganesha Mudra, left hand underneath, clasping the fingers so that you're pulling the hands apart, left hand under, right hand on top, <laughs> and bringing that in front of Manipura in the solar plexus, so just where the rib cage opens, you can let the thumbs rest on the belly. Inhale, filling the diaphragm, and the sound is Ram. Ram. Two more. Ram. Ram. Deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> Bringing the left hand again underneath, right hand on top, creating a fist with the thumb rising. This is Linga Mudra, allowing that to fall into the lap. Deep inhale. And the sound is Vam. Let the V resonate through the whole body. Vam. And take the sound right down into the hip flexors. Vam. One more. Vam. Inhale. Big breath out. <sighs> Bring the thumb tips together and the index fingertips together. The other fingers can either interlace with each other and tuck into the palms, or you can hold them inside the palms pressing the uh, outside of the fingers together. Whatever feels most comfortable for you, this mudra has a lot going on. And this is Yoni Mudra, connecting to the Shakti essence and the energy of Mother Earth. And you can bring that mudra again in front of the lap. And the sound is <laughs> Lam. I can't believe I almost forgot that. <laughs> what a, how hilarious. The sound is Lam with a L. Deep inhale. Lam. 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 Deep inhale. Big sigh. Now we're going to sequence back up through those mudras until we get back up to the top of the, or to the, above the head to the crown. So we're just following our breath, inhaling into the yoni mudra, exhaling, switching left hand and right hand on top of left into linga mudra. Inhale, exhale. Into Ganesha mudra, left hand hooks fingers up, Right hand hooks in, 
clasping and pulling apart, forearms in line, shoulders back and down, inhale, exhale in front of the solar plexus, <sighs> inhale, cross the thumbs, coming into your Garuda Mudra, arms come in front of the heart center, spreading the fingers wide, creating those eagle wings of Garuda, inhale, exhale, <sighs> interlacing the fingers, thumbs on top of the index, um, palms facing into the throat, inhale, <sighs> inhale, palms together, transitioning through your Anjali Mudra, bringing the thumbs to the forehead, inhale, exhale, opening the hands, pressing thumbs and pinkies together, opening the other three fingers, uniting into Padma Mudra, <sighs> Inhale, arms come up, opening to the crown. And a big sigh out. And uh, one more time, we'll own together. Om. Starting to lower the hands down. to the heart at the end of the OM, deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale here, exhale, release your hands to your knees, roll a little bit side to side, maybe pull yourself a bit forward and back, some seated cat cow, and then I invite you to uh, feel into your body and switch your dominant leg. So if you, whatever leg you naturally sat down with in front, switch it around. And then again, move a bit side to side, move a little bit forward and back. And just start to cultivate the energy until you feel like you can move into a bit of a Sufi grind. And we'll just spin the spine and start to connect the energies of your movement to the energies of your chakras. So I invite you to feel into all of your chakras, sequence through all of your chakras in your mind's eye as you circulate the spine from the hips and as you move side to side and really start to open up the spine. So we're just giving a few minutes individually to open up the energy of the spine and then we'll come into our full practice together and we'll just work with the singing bowls as you guide yourself through opening up your spine and moving the energies. So if you feel to switch into a rhythmic seated cat-cow, some kundalini movement, or if you feel to work with the Sufi grinds or infinity circles, just listen to your body for what will open up your spinal column, your shashumna.
feel all of your energy centers clearing with light as you connect to the water in your body. your hands face down on the knees and we'll join together in seated cat cows inhaling the heart open to the front exhale back of the heart behind you inhale open the heart exhale send the back of the heart behind rocking the spine and inviting the kundalini energies up through your spine up and out the top of the head connecting to the root and sacral chakra as we begin here Inviting the energies of the Kundalini and of the Ida and Pingala to start to flow up and down Shishumna, uniting divine feminine and divine masculine vibrations within. Coming into stillness, big sigh, <sighs> next inhale, bring the soles of your feet to touch, and you can start to rock a little bit side to side, opening the hips, maybe circulating the spine again through the hips, and connect to the root muladhara and the sacral chakra svadhisthana. You can place the hands on the ankles to give you some traction and just circle through and maybe pause in the places that you feel some tension in the hips. Breathe into that space and ask yourself, what emotion am I holding here now? Lum, 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 lum. Bum, lum, bum, lum, bum, lum, bum. Taking a deep inhale, pull your heart forward, look up to the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin in, send the spine behind, lean back. Inhale, come into a straight spine. Big breath out. <sighs> starting to slowly open up the legs to a wider seat. And you don't have to overextend the legs. We haven't really stretched the backs of the legs open so the calves and hamstrings, quadriceps may be tight. So you can sit in a wide-legged seat, but just without too much intensity for this first big stretch. So just flexing the feet, toes point back towards your head, connecting into your spinal column, Grow your spine long, shashumna long and tall. Tuck the belly button into your spine. Start to walk your hands forward slightly. Find a fold here that works for you. And again, if you feel like you need to move into the different points of tension, you can sway slowly side to side. In this posture, I invite you to roll in your mind's eye. I am safe, I am provided for, I have everything I need. I am safe, I am provided for, I have everything I need. I am grounded, I am stable, I am strong. I am grounded, I am stable, I am strong. I am safe, I have everything I need. I am safe, I have everything I need. 
and allow yourself to sink in a little deeper if you feel like your legs are starting to open up. And connecting into the root chakra and the sacral chakra is really about surrendering into the emotional body, surrendering into the feminine side. So allowing yourself to be in that softness in this moment. But also remembering that your divine creative fire comes from also the Kali essence, which seeks to smash all the ignorance and destroy all the darkness. So all of that is contained and balanced in the work of root chakra and sacral chakra healing and activation. So consider your feminine power, your feminine energy, and consider your masculine balance of motivation and inner fire. Are you holding on to frustration or anger? Are you holding on to anxiety or fear? What is stuck within the hip flexors or legs? Let it be cleared with the focus of red light and orange light of Lam and Bam, feminine and masculine uniting within us. your hands back coming up with a straight spine inhale the arms above head exhale palms come together inhale here drawing light down into the hands down through the spine exhale send that light out around your aura rotating the palms to face outward arms come out to a T at shoulder height inhale bringing more light in the hands Exhale, plant the fingertips to either side of the hips and plant your feet now a little wider than the hips width distance and windshield wiper the legs side to side, moving into the psoas muscles into the hip flexors, clearing that energy and getting a bit of a twist of the digestive system, moving the energy now up into the solar plexus. When you feel ready to come into stillness, you can extend your legs straight out in front of you and we'll come into a Dandasana pose or staff pose. So you're going to flex the feet again now, toes pointing towards the top, uh, towards the forehead, pardon me. Thighs pressing to the ground, calves pressing to the ground. And you're keeping your belly button engaged, spine long and tall, growing long and tall through the upper body. Breathing here with strength and power uniting your lower body with your inner fire through the activation of Uddiyana Bandha here. And your hands can be either aside the hips, atop the thighs, the shins, uh, just beside the knees, whatever works for you. And breathe here. Feeling into your strength in the legs, feeling into your core, taking a deep inhale, making sure that you're on your seat bones, pulling the flesh of the seat back, maybe planting the fingertips to either side of the hips, inhale your right leg up, exhale lower it down, connecting to your core now, your solar plexus, inhale left leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, right up. Exhale, lower. Continuing through three more on each side. Leaning back a bit onto your fingertips. Lifting the chest, lift both legs up, coming into Navasana or boat pose. You can bend your knees if it works better for you. Otherwise, stick the toes out, reach the arms forward, breathe into your belly, feel the strength of your core. You are powerful, you are strong, you are confident. 
You are powerful, you are strong, you are confident. I am powerful, I am strong, I am confident. I am powerful, I am strong, I am confident. Deep inhale. Exhale, lower the legs down, straighten back out into your Dandasana. Inhale here. Exhale, walk your hands forward and fold in. Allow the feet to relax for a moment. We'll take a good 10 to 15 breaths here in this caterpillar pose, so about a minute or so, and we'll just really let the circuit of energy from the lower body rise up the spine and up and out the top of the head. Maybe you really feel your legs are activated now. Let that energy bubble through your whole body and spine. Take a deep inhale, big sigh out, <sighs> another deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> one more, <sighs> inhale, planting into your fingertips, slowly starting to walk your hands and spine and body upright, and you're going to start to make your way slowly onto your hands and knees coming into a tabletop position. Neutral spine, knees beneath the hips, toes tucked. Hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread. Forward, uh, top crown of the head forward. And listening to your body, inhale, opening the chest, sending the hips up, cow pose. Exhale, sending the back of the heart up to the sky, cat pose. Breathing through your whole spine now as we've activated the solar plexus and the lower body. Now we're starting to move up into the heart. Inhale into your cow pose, chest shining forward, spreading the fingers, pressing into the fingertips, pressing into the pads of the hands, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, looking between the toes, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up, exhale, bring that foot in between your hands, lower your back knee down, coming into a low lunge. Inhale your arms up, opening your heart. Big sigh, <sighs> leaning back into a slight back bend if you have that accessible to you today. Big breath out, <sighs> one more. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, bring your fingertips down on either side of your front foot, lengthen that back leg, press down into the palms, step your back foot out for a plank pose. You can breathe here in your plank or, or come up into downward facing dog. We'll just take three breaths. Deep inhale. 
Exhale, coming through your plank, down into Chaturanga. Lowering onto your belly. Toes point behind, press into the hands. Lift up the chest and heart to cobra pose. A couple of breaths here in a low cobra. Deep inhale. Exhale, flatten out, release the arms out forward, forehead to the mat. Deep inhale, exhale, plant the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here, big sigh. Inhale, left leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down, toes tucked, rise up, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Find a slight back bend if you have that accessible to you today. Deep breaths. <sighs> Clearing the heart. <sighs> <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, plant the fingertips on either side of that front foot. Straighten out your back leg, plant the palms. Step back, plank pose or downward facing dog, three breaths. Deep inhale, exhale, chaturanga down. All the way to the belly, point the toes. This time pressing up, lifting the chest high, finding your cobra pose. Breathing here, even letting out a yum if you feel called to. Yum. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering down, bending the elbows tucked into the ribs, and flatten out. Forehead to the mat, arms out in front, toes pointed. Three breaths here. Deep inhale, exhale, plant the hands beneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, come up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, big toes together, knees spread wide to the edges of your mat. Stretch your arms out forward, sinking the seat down for a wide-legged child's pose, chest to the earth. and bring your focus to self-love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. Deep inhale, exhale, plant some weight into your hands, walk the hands back, coming up onto your knees, bringing the knees together, coming into a thunderbolt pose, or a hero pose. Inhale, the arms out in front of you, coming into a temple mudra, so you interlace middle ring and pinky fingers, index fingers press along each other, left thumb over right thumb, or right thumb over left, balancing feminine left over right, or balancing masculine right over left. Inhale those arms up above head. Big breath out. <sighs> Breathing here, looking up and out your third eye. And we're going to start working all of the upper three chakras, the throat, the third eye, and the crown together with three minutes of Sat Kriya, or the Truth Kriya, Everything Kriya. So with your Temple Mudra, we're going to work with the mantra Sat, with the belly button tucking in, and nam with the belly button relaxing. If you have any issues with your knees, you can place a cushion between the seat and the heels, or you can also practice this in Sukhasana, easy pose, or half lotus or lotus, depending on what your body calls for. Taking a deep inhale, 
big sigh, and beginning with sat, belly button in, nam, belly relaxes. The breath finds its way. Sat, nam, looking up and out your third eye. Sat, nam, 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 sat, nam. Sat nam, 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 sat, 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 nam. Sat nam, 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 sat nam. Sat nam, 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 sat nam. Sat nam, 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 sat nam. Deep inhale, big sigh. Inhale. Exhale slowly, drawing the hands down in front of the heart, all the way down as if you're zipping a zipper in your aura, sealing your aura and grounding the energies of truth into your life as the hands fall into the lap. Deep inhale, big breath out. Separate the hands, placing the palms on top of the thighs. Look up and out through your third eye. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, sending the spine back. We'll just do 30 of these as we transition. <sighs> Gathering that kundalini energy. <sighs> Making sure that you're following your own body and your own practice. So moving at a speed that works for you and moving the legs into a position that feels sustainable. And as you do this movement, resonate Sat Nam in the mind. Ten more. Straight spine, big sigh. Bring your hands in front of you, tuck your toes, push yourself up into a Uttanasana, a standing forward fold. Fold over the legs, perhaps bend the knees, take hold of either elbow, and hang for about 10 breaths here.
Take a deep inhale. Exhale, plant your hands onto your shins. Extend the arms, straighten the spine, gaze slightly forward. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Big sigh. Bend your knees strong, send the seat down. Inhale the arms up, core strong. Coming into Utkatasana, chair pose. Full body chakra activation. Inhale. Exhale, palms come together. Inhale, big breath out. <sighs> Inhale, rise up to standing. As you exhale, let the arms fall down to the center of the heart in Anjali Mudra or prayer pose. Breathing here into the heart center. Big breath out. <sighs> Closing your eyes. Bring your right foot to meet your left ankle. Extending, opening the knee wide, opening that right hip, coming into a supported Vrkshasana or supported tree pose. Closing your eyes and breathing here, noticing how your balance is affected slightly without sight, and choosing a drishti in your mind's eye, so focusing on your mind's eye. You can start with a focal point in front of you and then memorize it and slowly close your eyes until you find your balance stays stable. Playing with the energy of the third eye, being able to scan and see the space even with the eyes closed. And in this, you may even start to perceive other energies or vibrations that are present in your space. Taking five breaths here. Hopefully you can keep the eyes closed for the five breaths. See if they can be a little wobbly. And that is okay. A little wobbly is more than okay. In fact, a little wobbly is how everything runs. Deep inhale. Exhale, flatten out that right foot. Feet are parallel. Inhale up, lifting the heels up, pardon me. Coming up onto the toes. Exhale, grounding the heels down, bending the knees a little bit feeling into the legs, shake the legs out, setting up for the other side. You can of course have your eyes open for this transition and then bring your left foot, left sole of your left foot to the ankle of your right and you can have your left big toe on the ground supporting if you wish and breathing in to this tree, finding your focal point and then slowly closing the eyes and keeping your balance with the power of the third eye finding your drishti within, your focal point within you. And all trees sway. This is how we get stronger. <laughs> the things we say in yoga. <laughs> Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, releasing that left foot, feet come parallel. Inhale, up from the heels, coming onto the toes. Exhale, rooting back down into the feet, bending the knees a little bit. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release the hands to your sides, coming into Tadasana or Mountain Pose, feet at hips width distance. And we'll just make our way through a sun salutation till we find ourselves coming back to the floor. So inhaling your arms up above head, Lean back, opening that heart. Visual, visualize light flowing through you as you exhale, folding forward. Bending the knees slightly with a micro bend. Folding over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the earth or hands on shins. Straight spine, exhale, planting the hands beneath the shoulders. Step the feet back, plank pose, deep inhale. Exhale, chaturanga down to the earth. Inhale, a back bend that works for you today. Exhale, lowering back down, tucking the toes, pushing yourself up and back, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale in your downward dog. Big sigh. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Visualize all the chakra colors flowing through you as you inhale the arms up, lean back, open the heart, high lunge. Big sigh, <sighs> inhale here. Exhale, folding forward, plant the hands on either side of that right foot, step back, plank pose. 
Chaturanga down, your choice of back bend. Exhale up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot in between your hands. <sighs> Visualize all those chakra colors rising up with you as you open your hands and heart to the sky. Big breath out. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, folding forward, planting the hands. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend. Make it a good one. Three breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, toes tucked, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale here. Big side. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knees to your mat. Knees together, feet together. Sinking down, seat to your heels, finding a standard child's pose, Garbhasana. And sink into the womb of Mother Earth. See yourself like a little seed of light burrowing down into the core of Mother Earth. <sighs> Being accepted into the womb of Mother Earth for rebirthing and realignment. And as you rest here in your child's pose, tune into your energy centers and make the seed sound or the Bija Mantra for the chakra which feels most in need at this time. So some things are, if you've been feeling frustrated or anxious, maybe your root chakra needs some healing, so lam. If you've been feeling lacking as well, the root chakra and sacral chakra. If your creative energy or sexual energy are stunted, vam for the sacral chakra. Maybe you're feeling non-confident right now, low self-esteem, or even just heavy. Ram for the solar plexus. Maybe you're struggling to fully love yourself or finding challenges in love and life or taking more time to love yourself at this time. So yam for the heart. Maybe you know you need to express yourself more clearly at this time and that would be ham for your throat. Or maybe there's something on your mind that you haven't said. Ham for your throat chakra. Maybe you know that there's something you need to see more clearly. Resonate with OM. And maybe it's for receiving more information and inspiration. You can resonate with OM or for silence, for Sahasrara, the crown chakra. Feeling this white light spreading into rainbow light within you and resonating within the sound that you need most. and listening to your body. Is there anything else I need right now before I come into deep relaxation? Is there anything else I need right now before I come into deep relaxation? And make your way slowly moving into your Shavasana, allowing yourself to integrate all the energies that have been flowing through in this practice, sinking in and allowing the light to circulate through your whole body. Allowing yourself to get comfortable and taking your time to move in any other way you need in order to feel complete in your practice. And I'll just sink into the singing bowls a bit as you relax in 
to the healing and integration that comes with corpse pose shavasana. to integrate this energy and relax in your own space, arising in your own time and space, making sure to hydrate your body with lots of wonderful, blessed water, and making sure to nourish your body with all of the colors of the rainbow today. Blessings to you. Thank you for joining this practice. May your chakras feel aligned and bursting with light. And may that energy of the rainbow, energy of the universe, guide you in your life from this day forth with active vibrations, bringing you closer and closer to remembering who you truly are. Sat Nam. Namaste.